What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a really good month so far here in February where I've just been doing a lot of playing week in and week out, but it's all been good things and this month has come with a few new things as well that hopefully I can share with you guys really soon. But in this video today, we're gonna be taking a look at something a little bit different. I'm usually making some vlogs or something playing music, but I wanted to show you in this video what's in my Pelican case. So a little bit of background. In 2023, I was using my Temple audio board, which I totally love. And I actually made a video rundown showing how I used it all. I'll link it somewhere here. But with that board, it had its own fly case, which is what I would lug around. And then once I actually started using the UA Ruby and Dream, I had that in its own case as well. So you can imagine to any service that I was doing or gig, I was taking my guitar bag, the Ruby and Dream in its own case, and then the Temple Audio Board in its own case. So for 2024, I decided I kind of wanted to move away from that and, and just try to carry it all in one thing as much as I could. So enter the Pelican case. And so I'm gonna show you guys what I have in there, what I put in there, but I got it to the point where I can just take my guitar bag and then put my pedal board in the Pelican case as well as the board that I'm using for amps, which I'll share with you in just a bit. So let's take a closer look at what's in my Pelican case. Here is the Pelican. This is the Pelican Air 1626. And let's go ahead and take a look inside. So non surprisingly, it's empty. I do have the phone, but I'll show you how I put everything in there. So the first thing I put in here is the pedal board itself. Now, if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking that it looks a little bit different and it does. This is not the temple board, obviously. So I'm actually using my older pedal train classic two to get it to fit in here. So one of the difficult things I found was finding a Pelican that would fit the dimensions of that temple audio uh, trio 21 wasn't as easy as well as being able to fit that and my amp board, which I'll show you in just a sec. So I decided I could fit everything I needed on my older board. And so I just went back to my pedal train classic two and then put everything there. Now, if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you might notice a couple new goodies here. And so I'll be excited to share some of that with you in the weeks to come. But nonetheless, the pedal board goes first and the interior dimensions are actually 28 inches by 14 inches by 11.72, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is perfect for the Pedal Train Classic 2 because the board itself is 24 inches and the interior is 28. And then it is 12 and a half inches this way and it is 14 for the Pelican. So I have enough length in each direction to get it to fit in here nicely. So the other thing that goes in here, of course, is the amp pedal board. And that's gonna be this guy right here. I am rocking the dual tone X setup along with the Daiso, Diso, Daiso, Diso Plus. <laughs> but really been loving these and I'll probably dedicate a video itself to this. Um, I really love them and wanna give my thoughts about them. But before that goes in here, I need to get some of the cables in as well as the foam. So let me show you that. Here is the AC adapter that goes for the power supply for the tone X board. Usually I just tuck that right underneath here. There's some space. So I get that tucked into the board. Then next I need some quarter inches to run from the board to the tone X's as well as the IEC cables to power them both. Usually I take the first IEC cable, tuck it in something like that. Take the second IEC cable, tuck it in something like that. The quarter inches from board to board. There we go. So now with that, I will load the phone. So funny story, I actually ordered a couple of different Pelicans when trying to make my decisions. Um, I believe I started with the Storm IM2950, if I'm not mistaken. It was one of the bigger Storms and I got it, did the whole foam cutout and everything fit, but there was just so much room and it was such a big case that it kind of defeated the purpose of wanting to travel a little more lightly, right? If, if I was gonna have this huge case, well, it was taking up the same amount of space as my two individual cases from earlier. So I actually went with the 1626 that you're seeing in this video. And is it smaller? Yes. Is there less room? Yes. But everything that I need fits in there and the overall dimensions are just smaller. So it's been a lot easier to carry and I'm glad I went with this one over the other one. 
So what I've done with the foam is actually have these two blocks first. Since there is some space on the sides, I didn't really want it to move left and right during transport. So I will put that guy there and that guy there. That creates a perfect fit so it's not moving left and right. Then after that, I'll put in the layer that goes on top of this where the Tonex will sit. So here's what that looks like. And it just goes just like that. Now, you're probably wondering why I have this random hole cut out here, but it's actually because of the way the pedal board is slanted on the pedal train. It's a slanted board. And so these top pedals are actually higher. So if I did not have this hole, it was actually uh, forcing the foam to come up a little bit slanted like this and wouldn't let the Tonex sit flat. So I cut it out. That way it sits nice and flat like this. So then the final layer is gonna be the top piece of foam. So in this one, I actually cut a space to fit the Tonex, but left the other side covered so that it covers just like this, like that. So see, now you can't see that what's below, but it allows the Tonex board to fit nice and perfect, just like that. So there it is guys. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. I know when I was looking at Pelican cases and trying to see is my gear and my pedal board going to fit, it was really helpful to watch other folks fit their gear into Pelican cases in order to make my decision. So hopefully this has been helpful and insightful as to what's in my Pelican case. I'll see you in the next one.